Hello friends, it's Paul Suda, and I have a mustache today. A little Elfland mustache, because I'm going to be uh, dressed up like uh, Dread Pirate Wesley at the Ren Fair tomorrow in, in Corona. Go Coronaberg! I'll see you later there, Jack Yang. Um, something that occurred to me today, I've been thinking about this for a few days. Um, something, not, not not that I'm thinking about, but that I noticed. Um, I uh, si Since, I would say in the past two years... I had gained weight. I'd gone from about 210 pounds to the the heaviest I was is about 240 pounds. Uh, that and that was this past Christmas. And I've been I've been cutting down since then. And I think I'm below 230 now, which is good. And it, it, I it's I'm, I still would like to get down to like 225, 220. Um, but keep my composition, keep you know my muscle mass. Here is a funny thing that that weirdly intersects with other things that I talk about here. Because I, 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 I usually talk about creative stuff when I'm, you know, doing my videos. Uh, not so much about fitness stuff. Because, you know, who am I? There's a lot of folks who talk about fitness stuff who are more qualified. But here's the fun thing. Here's the interesting thing. Um, over the past two weeks, I have noticed that not only have I been resolved to not eat crappy stuff, you know, and I, I'd say salty stuff and beer are my real downfall. Sweets, I can kind of take or leave, but like Fritos, like crunchy, salty, and and beer. Oh my goodness, love beer. And and actually, um, because Annalise is gluten-free, I've kind of been by, by default gluten-free as well because I, I make the food, I, I cook in our, in our home. Um, so I've been mostly gluten-free and definitely totally dairy free, um, with a few exceptions. Um, but of course when I, when I have gluten, then I tend to, uh, retain water. That's like, the, I think the inflammation from whatever it is that I'm a little sensitive to, you know, if, if I have like a full, a big glass of milk or a bunch of cream or too much cheese, um, so dairy wise and also, um, gluten for sure. And there's probably other things I'm sure corn and eggs are in there too. But, um, over the past two weeks, I've noticed I have been way less tempted to eat crappy stuff. Even when I have a long, tiring day, even when I, even when, you know, I normally would be, um, the most tempted, like the time of day or kind of my state of mind or state of being, whatever it is. And I haven't been, I really haven't been binging. I haven't been cheating on my diet. I've been really sort of focused and, and disciplined. And I'm not that much more busy with, with regular work with, you know, my survival jobs. Um, but the thing that I've been doing and it started in May was I've been writing. I've been, I've, I've been working on something that I can plug away at. And I've been, and, and I, in the difference here and it, the reason I, I had to really just work in the, around the cracks of my life was, you know, in May, I, I wrote two specs. So I wrote 110 pages in three weeks. Um, and I was, you know, I was working the first and third week and I was traveling that second week. So I didn't, you know, it's not like I had entire days to sit there and binge write, although there were a few days where I, you know, where I managed to crank out a bunch of pages. So I, I essentially in May, in May, I trained myself to be kind of plugging away, writing something, not only kind of thinking about the conceptual stuff and structural stuff, but but, you know, when I get a chance, I sit down and just plug away my computer. And it could be a half page, could be one page, it could be two pages, it could be five pages. It, that, but every chance I get that I have, you know, but before I go to sleep or when I wake up in the morning when Annalise is still sleeping, in these little cracks in my life, I'm just sitting down and like plugging away. And having that sort of focus, it's almost like I'm onto something, you know, I'm like hunting something. Having that thing that I'm that I'm working on to occupy me essentially distracts me from wanting to eat stupid stuff that's bad for me. And it's, and the composition wise that like my physique's getting better, you know, slowly, it's not super dramatic, but I'm noticing it and I feel better and, uh, it's going really good. So, uh, how did I apply this? I mean, whatever your side hustle is, or if you're a creative person, if you have something that you're kind of plugging away at, watch yourself, watch if you're more disciplined or, or you're, or are you better off at, at, um, avoiding maybe your vices or your not so good habits when you have a kind of greater difficult purpose, you know, if you have a pinnacle to which you are, to, to which you are, um, um, uh, striving, just notice. Um, and again, this is, this is not something I planned on precisely. This is something that I just have found myself doing 
And, you know, and there's, and there's, like, today I had a moment where I was like, man, it'd be good to get some crunchy stuff. And I'm like, nah, not that big a deal. Like that, 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 that like desire, the desire to do the stupid thing, uh, is way less strong when I have something important to, to do in my downtime. It's, you know, some, and not only something that I have, that I have to do in my downtime, but something that I really want to do in my downtime. Like, cause if it was just like, oh, I'm, I'm applying for jobs or I'm, you know, making my resume better, like stuff that I'm, I don't really want to do, but I have to do, that's not going to distract me from trying to eat crap. It's probably going to make me want to eat crap more. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm doing this thing. I'm going to reward myself with chocolate mousse. But having the, having that side hustle, having that thing that I really want to be doing, um, in the, you know, in the cracks that I'm sort of plugging away at, it's almost like it's, it, there's only so much energy that I have. I, I cannot afford to, you know, if, if I'm drinking beer or if I'm eating chips, I'm doing that and not, and not writing. I'm not doing the thing that I want to be doing. And that's pretty, that's really interesting and valid. And more than one sort of, um, psychological expert, um, that I've listened to in podcasts or interviews or what have you, more than one kind of expert about human behavior or, you know, or ev psych or whatever has said that. And it, now it's falling into place. So very odd, very interesting. I, I hope that this continues. I'm, I'm, I'm resolved to have this continue. But again, in the first place, I sort of found myself being better at my discipline and my fitness and my diet as a positive byproduct of being focused on, you know, a creative goal. And as you know, again, and as soon as I finished one creative goal, I conjured up another one, even and 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 the one I'm working on right now isn't even really saleable. It's really like unlikely. It's basically just for fun, but that makes it more fun. That makes me more, you know, more interested in doing it because it's not for anybody else. It's just for me, really. It's just fun. Like I'm just so happy to be doing it. So, um, and that is, uh, I like that more than I like beer. So cool. <laughs> Cheers, folks. Have a good weekend.